Hi, my name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and I hope you're doing okay. Welcome to episode 16 of the Update, so let's oge! Each and every week here on the channel, I take a look at all the latest updates, news, and price drops, so you don't have to. Now let's get to it for another week! Okay, as usual, let's kick things off in my App Store account. We'll click my little photo, scroll down, make sure everything's been updated. And let's see what I've got uh, down here because I have a lot of apps, just in case you didn't know already. CapCut has had an update. Always CapCut getting updates. If you haven't used CapCut, I did a full deep dive. It's really fantastic for making videos for your music or whatever it is. Uh, we've got Video Leap has had more updates. So a new drop, new visuals forever. So they're always updating new stuff, panorama stuff, whole lot of options. Bandcamp has had an update as well. Vocal Tune Pro says it's had an update. The app will attempt to recover the digital purchase receipt when it's not present on startup. This should solve the problem some people have been experiencing when the app goes into trial mode after months of use. There you go. Ridgewalk has had an update and it's got major stability updates and general ca crash prevention, fix some critical bugs that surface with iOS 18. Threshold volume is now more distinctive. Uh, color and clarity. Drift is automatically set to zero when loopers are synced to tempo. Fix some typos and tool tips. And current version number has been added to settings. Number for clarity. Uh, N-Track Studio, Vocal Harmonizer, so that's had some updates as well. The new oscilloscope effect um, has been added, various bug fixes. Opener, do you know what this is? Opener, so it basically uh, allows you to open uh, other links from within Opener. It's actually a really cool and interesting app. Uh, what have we got? What else? So the other Bandcamp app has been updated also. There's two Bandcamp apps. One for your own sales and one for listening to music that you've purchased, if you didn't know that already. BandLab has had an update. Squashed some pesky bugs and made overall app improvements just for you. YouTube Studios had an update. MK Sensation fixed in-app purchase crashing in iOS 18. Thanks for that. Pure Synth, the same issue must have been happening with that one as well. Moises has had some tweaks. Uh, Chord AI has had some bug and stability improvements. I've been using Chord AI all through my series uh, over the last two weeks, re remaking my demo from 1995. It's been totally invaluable. App Raven, which we're going to look at in a moment. This was the replacement for App Sliced. If you don't have this, you really should. I use it each and every week here on this program. Motion Leap with the updates and bugs. Oh, no, text to image AI art generator is now available in Motion Leap. So that's pretty cool. That's nice. Um, progressions from four pockets fixed an initialization issue that caused a crash when running on iOS 18. We're still getting a lot of bugs happening from iOS 18. You know, it's going to be probably going on for the next month or so. That's why I haven't updated my iPad. I normally update it around December, maybe January, just to make sure everything's okay. Wood Synth has had some bug fixes as well, fixed a potential crash in HP filters, small improvements to MIDI V2PE, documents, love this app, always getting updated. Suggested 2 has had some updates as well, so that was yesterday. Some progressions can now be dragged anywhere in your song. Classic progressions are now classified in groups. More classic progressions are now applicable to scales. So a bunch of lovely updates. Things Crusher. Got uh, added oversampling up to 16 and graphics controls, brightness and contrast and some zoom controls. Let's Unmix got updated as well with some new features. A whole bunch of them, yeah. So uh, enhanced MIDI export, uh, program change for each track, tempo functionality. And they recently had another update as well with a bunch of stuff too. So uh, Let's Unmix is a stem splitter. So there's a, you can see a whole bunch of updates there. Pixel Mater, which I still use. Added some stability improvements and other small fixes. Superimpose uh, a V. Don't know if you know much about this. I did a show on this as well. So this is a free video editor. It's very, very powerful. If you're not on it, you should get on it. Do a search, Jade Star, Superimpose V. I covered the whole thing inside and out. It's pretty damn rad. 
Um, we've got two days ago, the Swan Bassoon got an update. Voice Synth got a couple of days ago, got an update, faster launch. Audio engine is already active when UI loads in the background, fixes a failing audio unit launch on some devices. GSDSP quantum delay. Now, all of the GSDSP apps got an update. We'll cover those shortly and go through what they are. Uh, Primo for iPad, which is a really cool uh, guitar sim, which I covered. I'm pretty sure. Is this the one? Am I right, Primo? Yeah, I think that's it. It's free. Solved a compatibility issue. Mila 5 has had some updates, a whole bunch of stuff in here as well. So this is a free update, not a new pack or anything like that. Um, Swarm Bass Flute a couple of days ago. You can see the rest of these GSDSP. They've all been updated. Piano Motifs, always getting updated because it's so damn good. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that we've got there for now. Let's jump over to App Raven and see what's happening there. And here we are in App Raven. I'm going to head over here to this menu and I'm going to hit App Filter and then just close this. And as you can see, I've got my little bookmarks folder. And over here, I have price drops, latest app updates and new music apps. Let's have a look at what's on sale. So four pockets have just entered their weekend sale. String Lab, Copperhead, Helium, MIDI Strummer, all on sale. Uh, what do we got? Uh, so a few dollars off to bring them down to a nice, uh, easy, easy peasy cost. Things Crusher is on sale. So three bucks off for that. I'm just picking out the ones of, of uh, note. Riffler was on sale. The, the Riffler Flow and Riffler have been going on sale quite a bit lately, but only for like a day or so. So you got to be really quick. Got to pay attention. And uh, I mean, if you have App Raven, you'll be able to do this, yeah? So we've also got Bleece has Bleece Vox on sale down from $14.99 to $9.99. Bleece Voices, same uh, $19.99 to $14.99. Frames looks like it's on sale. Yes, for four ninety nine, and uh, we'll scroll down. What do we have? So you, I know you're seeing these four pockets ones. These were from last week, so they're back to normal price. But they're still in this list. Nembrini still has all their apps on sale, so you can see everything down here. From what do we got? Um, IR loader, yeah, all the way down. All of Nembrini's apps are on sale. So you're looking at like some of them are 10 bucks off, uh, some like about four or five. So it varies between them. But yeah, they're all on sale. So yeah. And as you see, the cheaper ones down here, like Rack Reverb, they're like a dollar off. So uh, as they get cheaper, less money coming off kind of thing. Makes sense, yeah. Uh, Korg have their apps still on sale. Now, if, if you haven't jumped onto this, you really should because I'm not sure when it's going to end. Uh, and all their in-app purchases are on sale too. So they just dropped uh, an in-app purchase for module. And yeah, so called Gadget. Everything's on sale there. We'll keep scrolling a little bit further. Uh, we mentioned this last week. Dr. Vibe, Hyperboost and Scissor Hands, all now free with an in-app purchase. So you can trial them for two weeks, I think it was. Uh, what else do we have here? We're probably getting close to the end before we jump over somewhere else. Drone Lab, uh, down from $1.99 to $0.99. Cents. Ridge Walk, these were on sale. Uh, so a lot of these, you can see they're off sale now. So let's jump over to our favorite places next. So here we are at the Beat Community, and you can find them at thebeatcommunity.com. I recommend you go to the address on your iOS device and then save it as a bookmark by clicking up here going to favorites and it will be saved in your favorites like here you can come over here and click the button and it will load for you let's get into it four pockets have released midi step and it looks really really cool let's click and find out so i have it i'll be doing a demo later this week why because paul is dropping another uh, video on this and i want to let him drop that first so I can get my head around it as well. Plus, he normally releases an, an update in the first week. So I want to make sure any bugs are squashed in that first week before I do a show. It is $14.99. It looks so much fun. Yeah, so very exciting stuff. It's available now. 
Let's head back over here. Let's Unmix has been updated. As I said before, we'll quickly have a look at some of the things here. Enhance MIDI export, set program change for each track to customize the instrument during playback, set tempo functionality for more precise control. Now you can save and export piano, drums, and accompaniment tracks in, in addition to bass and vocals. Lovely jubbly right there. Four Pockets have their sales, but and they've got a star buy. Which one is the star buy? Let's talk about that. So we've got uh, Copperhead, Helium, uh, String Lab, and MIDI Strummer. And Copperhead is the one this week. So each and every week, one of them is 50% off. You can see Copperhead is that one for this week. Things Crasher by Audio Thing is on offer. Let's have a look at this. What have we got in here? So the desktop version's on sale as well as iOS 2. Lovely. Bleece, we talked about that. Riffler Flow, already off sale. Nicolosi updated Mila 5, Piano Motifs, as usual. And Mila 5 is always updated as well. Nicolosi is just on it, yeah? Um, Bleece Voice is on sale. GSDSP, let's talk about this. I said I would go into these in a little bit more detail. So all of the apps got new MIDI CC modulator, new MIDI note modulator, 2D uh, double spiral modulator, a new 2D chaotic drop modulator, improved preset system, improved smoothing for followers, macros, and motion 3D modulators, load a build-in uh, preset on startup. If you prefer to load the default preset like you before, you can uh, do that in settings. Modulators don't reset on BPM change, and Magic Delay uh, Show Current Max Delay Time in Curve Editor. So this covers all these apps. That's fantastic. They, I love it when they update all the apps together. It shows they really care about their apps. Aurora DSP dropped Laney Digbeth Bass Plugin. I did a show on it on the channel. Go and check it out. It is, mwah, it is a beautiful heavy bass amp or just for normal bass rigs. It's the best bass rig out there for iOS. I'm saying it. I'm putting my name on the line. It's definitely worth the price. Imaginando update and frames offer, which we saw before. Desktop versions down to 44. iOS at 499, usually 1099. There you go. And pretty much everything we got up to here last week was what we talked about last week. Nimbrini apps, Korg apps. Uh, that was last week's Four Pockets, and I still will get to Audio Damage uh, and their Quanta 2 release this week. Okay, let's move on now. As I move on to the next section, I need to apologize to everybody. I haven't done as many demos as I uh, have wanted to lately. There's just been a lot of stuff going on that, yeah, I could talk about, but it's, I don't want to weigh anyone else down with it. Just a lot of stuff behind the scenes to keep up but we'll get back to it there'll be more demos coming as we move forward let's talk about the beat community a little bit more because guess what they have a facebook page and here it is and it's worth your time to go and join up because ali Ahmed continues to uh update with new not only ios stuff but pc mac stuff so he covers all the stuff here you can see here let's unmix updated whole bunch of stuff plus he's got giveaways on here sign up pay attention get involved and uh, you can see he's a, a desktop ios raffle here so get involved and you may win something yeah so that is the beat community on facebook as always links are in the description and last but not least my favorite <laughs> because i just love saying it each and every week nino you know i do iPad OS and iOS audio units dash audio unit version 3 dash AUV3 Facebook group. Why do I tell you to go over here? Because it's damn good. Nino runs a very tight ship just like Ali does on his channel. And uh, yeah, again, all latest updates and things that may be coming out from desktop. There's always little little snippets of things that may be coming out, little hints of things that may be coming out, plus some giveaways. My friend Mateusz won uh, the Digbeth. There he is, Mateusz Brakowski. He won the Laney Digbeth bass amp this week. Really good giveaways over here, so go and support this Facebook group as well because Nino and both Ali, they work their ass off to uh, keep you all updated, just like I try to, try to do here on this channel. Okay, it's time to oge.
So that was episode 16 of the update for another week. Yes, there's always something going on exciting in the world of iOS creativity. And are you enjoying the content here on the channel? Well, please let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, please do me a solid and smash the like, hit the subscribe and ring the bell to keep up with all of the latest app demos and live streams. You can also support the channel by becoming a member for a dollar a month or by joining the Patreon for five bucks a month to get your music mastered and have the chance to win some of the cool apps that you see reviewed here on the channel. Okay, time to get out of here for another episode. Remember, do what makes you happy. Mistakes make you better and we'll all rise together. Stay awake and let's oge. <laughs> <laughs>